This time I would like to say a few words about the role which is uh, played uh, by Poland and Germany in the uh, in the politics of the uh, uh, European Union mostly um, and why it's very much important thus, uh, that, that uh, very much important that um, Germany should a, a little bit should become a little bit more uh, pro-American and soon because uh, I can understand uh, both uh, Polish inactivity and German um, uh, and German hyper hyper optimism optimism. For uh, for instance, we in Poland we know that we are um, a state of medium size medium size state, and we know that uh, we our uh, possibilities our capability in. Um, in uh, influencing the other political scenes is limited. So we try very rarely to do so. But we, we did it once with the, um, with the election of Ursula von der Leyen uh, to the head of the European Commission instead of Mr. Uh, Timmermans, who was very critical of uh, Polish uh, judiciary system, and not only that, mostly without any reasons. Mostly. Almost without uh, any reasons. So, um, so we did something very active, very proactive in the European, uh, in the politics of European Union, which is very rare. Usually, the Polish European class uh, is very much uh, it's over prudent when it comes to actions like that. Uh, we uh, think that we cannot really um, persuade stronger partners to do something, to resign of something, and to, to, to change the course of their politics, although we know that it's possible. So our political elites are usually uh, in Poland as usually are concentrated on the uh, defending Polish national interests in Brussels, also from Germany. But um, uh, and the polit political elite in Poland is very, um, how to say, very Mazovian, very Warsaw-like. The the elites, the, the, the people of influence and, uh, and politicians in Poland are usually very Warsaw-like. That, that, like the people in the region of Warsaw, the Mazovian people, are usually, uh, usually very rarely can uh, speak any German uh, pff, sentences. They cannot speak really uh, German. And they, they don't they try to speak German. They they don't learn German, or it's very rare. In my part of Poland, in in west uh, uh, in western part of, of, of Poland, it's more common. But um, still, the, the the more most influential region is of course the Warsaw region. So they uh, so we have this mindset in which we only defend our interests we are not trying to um, to get into the german press into the german uh, mindset into the german ideas into the german newspapers uh, and we uh, usually play a very inactive role we 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 don't understand I, I mean the, our political elite, they don't understand Germans and so on. So politically, Poland and Germany and Polish uh, political elite and German political elite are two separate, totally uh, uh, different worlds. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so only in Germany we can, uh, we can uh, see such poems about European Union and European possibilities, European uh, future, like here, what we have here, 
we have here a book entitled Europa as Inspiration und Herausforderung. So, Europe as Inspiration and Challenge. Such poems 